Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to understand C sharp encapsulation. Object oriented programming is based on few important principles. Encapsulation is one of them. It refers to the concept of bundling data and methods that operate on that data into a single unit. Let's understand this concept practically. I have created console application. As you might know, we can use C sharp to create different types of applications, including console application. The first step to implement encapsulation is to create a class. I will right click. I will add a class. I will add employee class. This class should contain fields and methods that you want to encapsulate. Now I will add the fields. Make sure these fields are private. To provide controlled access to the fields, we use properties. Now let's add properties to access each of these fields. Here we have property, name, then employee ID, and salary. Properties in C Sharp are a way to encapsulate fields within a class and provide controlled access to them. They allow us to define custom logic for reading and writing the values of fields. If we take example of this name field, here we have defined property. Here access modifier is public. We are using data type same as this field and here is a name. And here we have set of methods get and set. We use this get method to return value of this private field and we use set method to set the value to this private field. See here this employee ID we don't have option to set the value to this employee ID and see here we can include validation logic as well. Inside this set method we are checking if value is greater than zero then we are setting that value else we are Printing salary cannot be negative. This is the beauty of properties. We can also add constructor to this class. This is a constructor. This is a constructor which takes parameters name, employee ID and salary and we are setting value inside this constructor. We can also encapsulate method inside this class. Now see here we have a method and we are using this method to print the values. This is an example for encapsulation. Now, if we want to use this employee class, then we should first create instance of this employee class. I will open program.cs file and I will create instance of this employee class. Here we are using parameterized constructor to pass the values and here we have instance of employee class employee one. Now I will use this instance to display employee information. Here we are calling display employee info method from employee class. I'll save this. When I will save this employee class and let's run this application. See here is the output. Encapsulation offers several benefits like data protection as encapsulation hides the internal state of an object and control access by providing getter and setter methods. Encapsulation allows control access to the object's data. And next is code organization. As encapsulation promotes clean and organized code structure, it is very important principle of object oriented programming. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.